one of my favorite research to do is actually on YouTube itself. I'm gonna go to how to dress for your body type. And now I'm gonna kinda look at the top videos. I'm gonna study their thumbnails, their titles, the video length, and think about, okay, what could, how could I jump inside of this conversation? You gotta just press record. Hey, my channel is about style for women over 40. When I do keyword research, I'll get like a, a 100 score on um, one of the videos. And that's not a video that ends up doing that well. Sure. So I'm just kind of confused. Like I, I just researched a couple of videos. I was just working on a couple of new ones, like four ways to make any outfit more interesting. So I got a hundred score on that topic, but then I go in and do a video about that and I optimize it the best way that I can. I loved your tip about making the thumbnail copy different that was so good um because i'm you know always working on that but yeah i just wonder why those aren't always the videos that rank really well and if, if there's something that you're seeing that i can do that might change my trajectory of my channel right now it's kind of like slowly growing at about 100 people a month i would say um i started it about a year ago almost exactly a year ago i love it well yeah let's dive in so keyword research is so critical it's really i consider it topic research but there's also other ways to do topic research um i'm a huge bit iq fan and so if i think about i'm going to go actually back to um like this video just to use it as a jump off point um one tip always success leaves clues and it's been a year since you've made things related to body type so it might be good to circle back um, we always like to kind of remake and update our winners. If we go to Keyword Inspector here, though, in vidIQ, um, kind of talk about a couple things. I go by search volume, but also some of these things, these are very vague. These are a little too short. How to dress for your body type. So that's medium. There's some decent search volume, 45 out of 100. But where I, it would really get interesting for me is one of my favorite research to do is actually on YouTube itself. So I'm gonna take that keyword that I just learned in vidIQ. I'm gonna to go to how to dress for your body type. And now I'm gonna kind of look at the top videos and I'm gonna study their thumbnails, their titles, the video length, and think about, okay, what could, how could I jump inside of this conversation? And, and then I also oftentimes will just use the YouTube search bar. So like women over 40 and the workout, I'll go underscore before. Uh, let's see, or I'll go over 40 uh, fashion uh, and then we'll go, you know, okay, kind of see what that is. I'm going to go under Scott plus size fashion, what to wear fashion over 40 petite women's fashion over 40. So then I, you know, this is sort of, you're, you're going through exact, Hey, great job. Really great job. So that's, that's like oh, a great yeah. example of uh of, of finding like a smart idea, hitting it very specific. In fact, what we taught today, answer specific questions. This is a very specific, best petite brand. So I love that. But do you see, is that helpful at all? It's kind of like, I guess what I'm trying to say is use the tools, but also use your intuition and do more study of YouTube itself to maybe find video ideas that don't maybe fit nicely inside of the keyword tools. Um, and when you are using keyword tools, don't be afraid of, don't even put too much stake in the score. I mean, even this, I just use this as a reference point that petite women's fashion, let's say, that IQ in this case on the right side is telling me it's a 31 out of a hundred. I'm going to look at that and be like, okay, but then I'm going to look at maybe some of the channels I could study. I'm going to scroll down. Definitely. I'm going to look at the trending videos in terms of like, okay, black blazer, spring outfit. Maybe I say little liney thing, women over 40. I look at the trending videos because you want your videos to be suggested alongside of these. And YouTube really works related to trends and specific niches, niches, secrets to wearing youthful fashion over 40 with confidence. Like even that is like, oh, that's, that's not a search term, but it's doing well. So then I, I dig into that video and I think, okay, what can I learn about this particular video? Um, and traffic, the number one traffic source on YouTube is recommended videos, not search. 
I believe that search is the foundational place to start and even reach into recommended videos when you strategically knit the whole strategy together. Um, so the keyword research matters, but then it see how it took us to this place of trending videos. And then we synthesize that in terms of what are you inspired by right now? What do some of these in videos inspire, uh, inspire you to think about? And I'll, the final thing I'll say is, remember, suggested videos are so powerful on YouTube and a lot of people will watch more than one video on a very specific topic. In my case, if somebody releases a new uh, video about the Sony A1 camera, I'm like, I watch three, four videos about it to get different perspectives. I wanna watch test photos. I wanna watch the 4K example footage. I watch a review from someone I uh, trust. Somebody catches me with the headline and suggested videos about why you shouldn't buy the new Sony A1. I gotta click that too. So when someone is looking for secrets to wearing youthful fashion and a video and maybe a much larger channel is doing well, when you make related videos, your chance of so showing up and suggested is, is pretty high. Maybe someone looks at that individual and says, I don't really look like them and my body type's not the same as them, but they see you in the thumbnail and they go, oh, she looks nice. Like maybe let me give her a, tr see how that could work. Let me give her a try. They click on that and you're getting new audience because your vibe will attract your tribe in not every, especially in fashion, different body types, different styles, different styles. So, Someone might be super famous, but there's a trickle from their influence that could lead to you as you just are bold with your best features, your uniqueness, right? They're like, oh, cool. Like, I, it looks like I can maybe relate. And you even think about how that's in the title. And none of that might be keyword based. It's more human based and it could really lead to your video. So was that making some sense? Yes, that that is. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the keyword research was was kind of confusing to me. I don't I am not ranking for any words yet. And I'm so specific. So I'm just like it's style over, you know, for women over 40. I'm not the only one in the space, of course, but I was just perplexed. Like, why am I not? I don't think I'm showing up in search and suggested. I don't think I'm ranking for any keywords, at least not that I can tell. Um, and Let so me stop you. I bet you are. I'm going to show you how to look. So um, what you want to do is I'm sure you are for any different. So here's, here's a quick analytics crash course on traffic sources. So just look at your last month and the last 28 days. And it'll actually, if it says YouTube search, you are showing up in search. If it says suggested videos, you are showing up in suggested videos. And so I promise you, you're showing up in both because you are getting views to be even more specific. Uh, this is a huge mistake people make when it comes to ranking is they think, um, let me go to maybe a very search-based video, like YouTube versus Instagram. So the mistake people make is they'll use vidIQ, they'll put some tags on a video, they won't see any blue ranking numbers, although this one is ranking number one for Instagram versus YouTube, so that's, that's kind of the ultimate goal. But let's say you didn't see that, the, the question is though, are you even using the right tags? Are you, cause if, if they weren't there, it actually doesn't mean that the video wouldn't rank. Um, the, the way to actually test things is to go into the reach of the specific video and come down here to YouTube traffic source, YouTube search, and verifiably it will tell you, even if it quote unquote doesn't rank right now, it'll say that people typing YouTube versus Instagram has gotten this 15 views. People typing Instagram versus YouTube has got in this video nine views. Um, some people search Think Media or Sean Cannell, so that's a little bit different. And then some people searching for all kinds of other stuff, this video popped up, like how to grow on social media, this video got a view. It doesn't rank for how to grow on social media, but it did at that moment, if that makes sense. So definitely, I think you're probably being too hard on yourself in terms of thinking you're not getting traffic um, because I'm, I promise you, you are. You, you could check out where it's coming from in your analytics. Want to know the exact strategies Sean Cannell and the Think Media team use to consistently get over 3.5 million views on YouTube every month? Learn the proven steps and the newest YouTube money-making strategies at Grow With Video Live's virtual conference. Get your tickets today at growwithvideolive.com.